Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas. You're watching Drakeween Gaming. Oh, one moment. And... Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Never here from Drakeween Gaming. It's me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Violet Memoir, Oscar's Path. So y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome awards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming, ooh, excuse me, not safe for work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. All right. We head to the locker room, but Selwyn excuses himself, pointing over to his coach who's still talking to the last lingering member of the non-aquatics. I just want to talk to him. Oh, yeah, no problem. Should we wait for you? He just shakes his head and signals to the water. I guess he's going to swim swim some more. Maybe he wants to do some private training with the crocodile. He did basically skip practice. The thumbs up, he heads off, leaving me to head to the empty locker room by myself. Or should have been empty, but the moment I walk through the entrance, I'm greeted to an unexpected sight. Oh! Oh my... Walking out of the shower area is a steaming Oscar, still dripping wet. He has the decency to be, uh, to be holding a towel over his crotch, so I don't think covering up was his intention. Uh, one second, y'all. Give me one moment. Sorry about that, y'all. We're back. Okay. He just looks as shocked to see me, though that smile never flinches for a second. It only grows as my gulp is very, as very, as my gulp is very audible in the silent room. Despite my best intentions, it's hard not to ogle the, at the guy. Well, I've seen his upper body shirtless many times by now. There's something about it being naked that makes it more exciting. It doesn't help that his wet fur is matted down and sticking to his body, making his muscles more prominent than ever. Oh my god! Jesus Christ. Before long, my eyes eventually reach down to the towel on his hand, hovering right in front of his crotch. I'm not able to see anything from what's behind it, but that doesn't stop my imagination from running wild and stop my body from physical from physical reaction either. And when he notices that, there's a wild spark that appears in his eyes, but, he's, he, quells it, but he quells it enough to just settle. Is that steam rising off of him? <laughs> what the fuck? But he quells it enough to just settle on a settle on a sultry smile in those eyes that make me want to melt into a little puddle. It's hard to tell if my eyes want to stare into them or at his body more. It's a choice harder than any other. Enjoying what you're seeing? Um, uh... Hey, man, don't stress. You look like you're gonna pass out. That sultry look temporarily fades to one of concern. He moves to take a step towards me, but hesitates before thinking better of it. He must not want to make things worse. If you want me to, I can get, go get changed in the corner. Making you uncomfortable is the last thing I want to do, especially after a great time like that. My mouth feels dry and words fail to come to me. This is a lot more than I was expecting. I've never been this close to someone else being naked. But I don't know if I want him to leave. This is an opportunity I've never really had before, let alone with someone like Oscar. I must have caught on to my thoughts because his expression returns back to his sultry grin. But despite apparently being able to read my mind, he doesn't make any emotion to close the gap between us. Hey, you're just looking, right? Don't worry. What you see here is what you get. I wouldn't I wouldn't push you past what you're comfortable with. You look like you're barely holding as it is. Second y'all, water time. Hmm. Thanks, I, I think. I, I think I'll be fine. You you look really good. Yeah, what's catching your eye? Huh? Well, you're looking like you're about to start drooling, so there must be something you like, right? You can't leave me hanging like this. Is it weird to say everything? You're like... perfect. Damn, man, that's pretty high praise. You're gonna make me blush. Despite what he's saying, he doesn't look too phased by my answer other than his steadily growing smile. It almost feels linked to my own anxiety. The more comfortable I get, the larger his toothy grin grows. Well, surely you must have a favorite. Everyone's got something they like. Uh, well... My eyes scan back over his body again, stepping over his large chest. It's huge, and I still remember what it felt like to rest my head against it last night. His necklace twinkles between his pecs, reflecting blue light into the surrounding fur. What well, might look just pretty to others, after knowing what it means to him, it looks even more beautiful against him. No! Wallace! The rest of his body is just fantastic. It's like I'm friends with Adonis himself, except Adonis is a walking flirt who makes it clear that he wants to sleep with me, but he's still being a gentleman about it. My eyes eventually land on the towel between his legs, and I can feel the heat return to my face, but it's hard to stop my eyes from lingering on it, my imagination running wild. I know he'd remove it if I just asked, but I don't think I'm ready for that yet. In order to allow myself some level of self-respect before I totally embarrass myself, I return my gaze back to his face, where his stunning smile and those beautiful eyes have captured me more than anything else. 
There's an excitement in them, but there's also affection in them too. Affection for what I swear that I don't des what I swear I don't deserve. I have no idea what this guy sees in someone like me. So, what do you think? Got any ideas? About what? About your favorite part. I'm curious. You'll state my you'll state my curiosity, won't you? Well, I really like your eyes and your smile too. It catches him off guard in a way I haven't seen in a long time. Whatever answer he expected me to give him, this is definitely not it. What, are you sure, man? I mean, there's a lot more going on than just my face. You see it all the time, too. Well, I mean, I told you, I really like all of you, but if I had to pick favorites, it'll be them. Your smile is the best I've ever seen, and your eyes are so pretty. I'm really jealous. Jeez, man, you really are going to make me blush this time. True to his word, the insides of his ears are growing pinker, and even his posture is knocked a little off guard. He's still radiating that permanent confidence he always has, but his hand leaves his hip to rub the back of his neck awkwardly. Was that the wrong answer? That makes him laugh, and this time he walks over to pull me into a side hug, nearly causing my nearly causing my hand to bump into the single layer of towel hiding his crotch from the world. No, nah, man, there's no wrong answers here. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting that one. No one's ever said that to me before. It's always my chest or my abs or even my junk if they're extra frisky. I mean, they're really nice. Are they? You haven't seen them all. You haven't seen all of them yet. We can... We can change that right now if you want. It'll just take a second to simply put my hand away. If my head was on fire before, it's become a full-on inferno now, and if the way the otter's eyes sparkle is any indication, it's exactly what he wanted. There you go. I don't even know if I have to, if I need to edit that, because his, he has a towel right there, so. If my head was on fire before, it's become a, okay, yeah. I can't say I'm not enjoying this either. Having him this close to me is almost making me dizzy. There's none of that usual chlorine smell he usually has. It's just soap and his natural scent. That combined with his proximity is enough to make my head spin. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Don't sweat it. I got what you. I got what I wanted. You're really cute when you get flustered like that. You just catch me off guard sometimes. I only do it because I know you like it. I wouldn't do this kind of thing with Grumpy or Papa Bear. I think they might actually hit me. Would you even feel it? <laughs> how about how about you find out? I think for a second that he's joking, but I should know by now that even his teasing always carries a little bit of an offer in them. It's not like I haven't done this before. Hell, I was just doing this last night when we were in bed together. It just feels... It just feels different with him freshly showered and fully visible in the light. I lift my hand to touch his chest, but my resolve falters, and I'm just left hang, hanging my head inches from, his, from touching his fur. My hand inches from touching his fur. He quickly scoops my paw into his own, caressing my fingers with his damp one. Even his hand completely dwarves my own. I was kidding. I don't feel pressured into doing that. I know. I was just gonna try it. Well, how about you ask me when you look like you're not about to pass out? I'm always available. I love teasing you, but you've been through a lot lately. I wouldn't want to be the cause of anything worse. There's a tremble of disappointment that runs through me, and it doesn't go unnoticed by Oscar, who helps to pull me tighter against him. It's a good thing I'm about to go. I'm about to go have a shower because I'm already going to be drenched. Already going to be drenched. My clothes dry out enough in the meantime. Now, as much as I'd love to stand here and tease you all day, Coach wanted to talk to me before we left. So he'll come, so he'll come check soon. I wouldn't want to get him. I wouldn't want him to get the right idea about what we're doing. With a gentle shove, I'm forced to take unsteady steps toward the shower area while Oscar walks toward his locker, his towel now slung over his shoulder instead of hover, covering his crotch. If he wasn't facing away from me, I'd have just gotten an eyeful. I look away before I end up staring at his ass, knowing him and. Probably just as perfect as the rest of him. I've never actually seen, ass, seen an ass before. What? What? How? Wow, that's rare. Not in person. But as tempting as it is, I can feel Oscar's focus on me, even though he's facing away from me. I don't know if I take a peek at it. He'll know for sure. I'll just focus on having a shower. Usually I'm not fond of how unstable gym showers can be, but maybe a cold shower wouldn't be a bad idea right now. The otter really knows how to push my buttons. By the time I leave the bathroom, I'm already clad in my underwear again, hoping to avoid any teasing from the otter, but I find that it's absent instead. Canada dry time. Alright. The only occupant is... The only occupant is Selwyn, who's already dressed back in the same hoodie from last night, and is just focusing on trying to... Trying... Is focusing on trying to comb his mane out. He was curious what the two of us were doing after this, and I admitted that I wasn't really sure. I want to read the diary and check on that missing page covering Helena's date with Conrad. After everything we just went through, I don't know if I really want to do that. Someone doesn't look very sure either. I wonder what Oscar would say. There's a string of concern that clouds over the lion's face, and he leans into my ear. 
I expect him to whisper something, but there's only some rasps and grunt of effort before he pulls away, wearing a frustrated expression I've never seen on the line before. He quick he quickly outs his he quickly out uh, he quickly outs his phone. He quicks out what? He quicks out his phone? He quicks out his phone and quickly types the the message uh, out the message with a flurry of taps. It's truly scary he's able to do that without even looking at his phone. He tried to get you to avoid it if he thinks it might upset you. He never wants to do anything that'll get him down or anything that might get you down. I don't think that I don't think I'm that important to him. But Salmon's expression doesn't look like he's messing around. He looks dead serious, though there's only so intense he can look with his adorably handsome face. He really likes you, if he, even if he doesn't admit that. Oscar doesn't like letting people in, not even me. But he seems willing to do things he wouldn't normally do for you. He's never brought anyone to the pool before. Never? He shakes his head, but this time he's wearing a smile. There's something about the way he's puffing up his chest and pulling his shoulders back that makes him look proud. It's only slightly undermined by the awkward pinging of my phone. I care about him a lot, too. He's the first guy at college to try and be my friend. If it wasn't for him, I'd have never left my little bubble. I owe him the world. He tried to do that with me, too. He found me standing outside of my lecture, scared to go in. Then he just comes, comes and drags me inside with him. That sounds like him. He always wants the best for people, but if he gets too close, he takes a step back. I don't know why. So, do you think I shouldn't go read the diary either? That's not what I said. Uh, that just, uh... That's just what Oscar would suggest. Why not just do a bit of both? You said you wanted to, you just wanted to check on something, right? How about you do that and then we go do something? Maybe invite our, maybe invite your friends. That reminds me of what Lily said yesterday. Oh, my friend mentioned going to a club or to a bar tonight. As a group, maybe you want to join us. I've been, I've been wanting to introduce you to Lucas and Lily. I bet you'd love them. Now that turns his expression to a mixture of excitement and nervousness. What I've come to know about Selwyn is that he is that he's shockingly energetic with his friends, but wary of those he doesn't know. Don't worry, they're good guys, and you can stick around, you can stick around Oscar and me and, until you feel comfortable. I just know you'll be fast friends with Lily. Lucas, Lucas might take some getting used to. It makes him a little concerned, but he doesn't make any indication that he doesn't want to go. If anything, he looks determined to go, even if he'll be a little uncomfortable. After a bit, I thought that Selwyn and Oscar were a lot more similar, but now I think they're more different than ever. I don't know if Oscar would have put himself in a situation like this. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to navigate around him. Should I push him more, or should I give him space? So, you know, water time. Hmm. I wish the answer was easy, but I'll have to do something. Oscar's definitely dealing with something. I don't want to push myself into it just yet, though I can feel that nagging voice in my head telling me to. to, telling me to. All this talk about plans reminds me of the text the group had sent me earlier, and I realize that, that I, in fact, do have immediate plans. Something that's going to be significantly less fun. Actually, Selwyn, can you go keep Oscar company for a bit? Everyone wants to interrogate me about last night. Hopefully it shouldn't last too long, and I can propose our little getaway tonight. Excuse me, he just gives me a firm nod and a thumbs up. It's nice to have someone I can rely on with stuff like this. Oscar's amazing, but it's not like I can distract him with distract him with himself. Not that I think I not that I think he wouldn't respect my privacy. Well, let's get this over with. Arriving back at my apartment is more than a breath of fresh air. I didn't expect this day to be so hectic, but everyone really wanted to try and make sure I was all right after everything that happened. I can't say I don't appreciate their efforts, though. Everyone was so kind and even respectful to Oscar. Lee's been shockingly tolerable to his antics, and Lucas has been growing more comfortable around everyone. They all seemed genuinely excited to hang out together, even if the idea of all of us going to a bar wasn't exactly exciting for most of our group, but they accepted the idea. But it was hard to focus on the conversation while I wanted to get back and check the diary as soon as possible. I know that page we found wasn't in the diary, but I just have to check it. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to our lovely bronze-tier patrons. Thank you all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver-tier patron, Cade Silvermoon. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. And thank you to our gold-tier patron, Armor. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for submitting your ultimate tier. Anyway, if y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to our not safe for work contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye